since the civil war there began more than four years ago. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad traveling to Moscow to meet face to face with the man propping up his embattled regime, Russian President Vladimir Putin. The terrorism that is now spreading today could have, without your decisions and actions, spread to even more territories and states, not just in our region, but to other regions too. Two weeks into Russia's surprise military intervention in Syria in the air and on the ground, Mr. Putin promised Mr. Assad continued support. We are prepared to do whatever we can, not only in the course of military efforts to fight terrorism, but also in the course of the political process. That's a process the U.S. would like to see result in Assad's ouster. Today, U.S. officials wonder how the visit will affect upcoming meetings Friday between Secretary of State Kerry and his Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov. The White House spokesman telling reporters, quote, We view the red carpet welcome for Assad, who has used chemical weapons against his own people, at odds with the stated goal by the Russians for a political transition in Syria. But Russia's recent military activities may not end in Syria. President Putin reportedly sending a letter to Iraqi Prime Minister al-Abadi expressing his support for the fight against ISIS on the Iraqi side of the border, raising the possibility of Russia filling a perceived void in Iraq left by the U.S. These people in Russia and the Kremlin are going to say, OK, we have an opportunity here. We're going to drive our version of a Mack truck right through this area, and we are going to control the agenda for the northern Middle East. And, and that is exactly what they're doing.